Carolina. The 10 o'clock news starts now with breaking news. And we are following two breaking news scenes tonight that we just learned are now connected. A double homicide investigation is underway in Taylor's after a house fire this afternoon. And we've now learned the person of interest in that case has been shot by law enforcement in Landrum. No deputies were hurt and SLED is now investigating. But we've go ahead and mapped out for you right now where the officer involved shooting happened. It's on Kirby Street in Landrum and that's where 14 crosses I-26 near the Greenville Spartanburg County line. And that's where we find Fox Carolina Zach Prolutsky live for us from that scene. Uh, Zach, what can you tell us? What did you learn from the sheriff's office tonight? Well, Justin and Tori, this happened about three hours ago, just around 7 p.m. We know that both the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, along with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office, and some local city police departments were all on the scene. And we also know that SLED is here. Now I'm going to step out of the way and let you guys take a look as to kind of what's going on. A large section here on Kirby Street in Landrum, still blocked off. Obviously, a very intense investigation going on, as you mentioned, those two scenes, uh, several miles apart, but connected. Now, we are right below the North Carolina, South Carolina line, just off of Highway 14, if you're familiar with this area. Um, we do not know kind of what exactly led to the chase or led to the suspect coming here, but we do know, as you guys reported, that that suspect was involved in this officer-involved shooting, was shot. We do know that the coroner's office, uh, the Spartanburg County, County Coroner's Office, is on scene here. I did get a chance to speak with the coroner just a couple of minutes ago. He says that information's very limited at this time as you're looking at kind of some of the scene as it was developing over these last three hours, but the coroner says he has not been able to identify who the suspect or the, the deceased person person is at this point hasn't even really been able to get to the the heart of the scene to kind of conduct his investigation just given how intense everything has been here but again we do know that the suspect that was involved in that double homicide in Taylor's was shot here uh, in Landrum several miles away another county away um, as we're coming back live to the scene now we know that sled is on scene here handling the investigation we expect to get more from the Greenville County Sheriff's Office the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office as early as possibly tomorrow um, as obviously they continue their investigation probably well into the night but for now reporting live in Landrum Zach Prelutsky Fox Carolina News Zach exactly. we appreciate that live report thank you as we mentioned, this officer-involved shooting stems from another breaking news scene in Greenville County. The two women found dead inside a home that was lit on fire. And we mapped it out for you here on your screen. Uh, the Greenville County Coroner's Office says they were called to Millbrook Circle there in Taylor's just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. And when the coroner arrived, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office was already there investigating that fire. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris live at that scene now. So, Kennedy, what can you tell us about what eventually led up to this officer-involved shooting? Well, Justin, this is definitely not an active scene anymore, but we do know that two women were found dead inside this home earlier, and this is being investigated as a homicide. The sheriff told us earlier today two women were found dead after a neighbor saw smoke coming from the home and called 911. And while we don't know the cause of death, the sheriff says the women were killed inside the home, and they believe the suspect then tried to cover up the crime by trying to set the house on fire. Now, we don't know the identities of these victims yet and a motive is still unknown. It was extinguished fairly early but the you know two different locations one was kind of outside by the carport and one inside the home. And the coroner tells us an autopsy on the victims will be performed tomorrow so we expect to learn more information soon. But for now from Greenville, Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News. And for more breaking news, make sure you download our free Fox Carolina News app. If you don't already have it, take out your phone. You can scan that QR code you see on your screen right now to download for free.